What's going on, guys? Um, doing my uh, recap and my picks for tonight on FanDuel. Um, last night was horrible. I didn't win in any of my contests. Um, John Wall just ruined it for me because I had him in a, like pretty much all my lineups, but then it said he was he wasn't playing or he was questionable or something. So I took him out every single lineup. And um, two minutes or one minute before tip off, they say he's playing and starting, and he obviously goes off for almost 50 points. So that just ruined everything. I'm just gonna show you my um, my top two highest contests. Um, this was a five dollar league. Um, late night was it late night. Yeah, it was late night. My highest for late nights was 267. Um, I went with Stephen Curry, 42, which is good um, price point. He's been uh, pretty pretty low. On the price, he was 86% owned, but that's all right. 42, Derek Rose with 30. Thought he was gonna get me a lot more, but these 11 turnovers just killed me. He had only one assist. Um, they did go to overtime, uh, so that helped a little bit. Bradley Beal was just terrible against the Lakers. I thought he was just gonna kill them. Um, I guess Wall coming back pretty much made it even worse. But if he was all alone, he would have went off. Um, Clay Thompson, he went off again. He had 15 points in the first like seven minutes. Uh, 43 points was good. Uh, Rashad Butler, I picked him because I thought Wall was out. And he obviously didn't do anything. Um, Harrison Barnes, he was a pretty good pickup, 4500. Uh, he was only he scored 22, which is pretty good. Uh, Nene, also horrible against the Lakers. I don't know what happened last night. But without Kobe, the Lakers seem to be pretty good. Uh, and they don't have Nick Young anymore either. So maybe they sh they're sharing the ball a little bit more. But um, yeah, Nene, terrible. Uh, Paul Gasol went for 54, as usual, great pickup. And Gortat, another, eh, that's what you're usually going to get out of Gortat. Thought I saw thought I saw a little bit more of an upside to him. But uh, well, last night was just horrible for me. So, yeah, that's my late night. And then this was my uh, just full game lineup. I had Steph Curry, Augustine against uh, Cleveland, really good. He's going to be a top play um, from now on out because, uh, because Jennings is out, his price will probably rise, which is going to be bad. Um, Jamar DeRozan met his, val met his value at 6,800, so that was a pretty good game. Bradley Bill again, just, just disappointing. Jeff Green, disappointing. He only had like five points in the first half. Uh, it's terrible. Uh, Chris Middleton, eh, you get what you pay for, I guess. You know what he's going to give you, Chris Middleton. 5,500, 23, and eh, not that great, but eh, whatever. Greg Monroe, um, psh, another one. Thought he was going to be 35 at least. Uh, especially versus Cle Cleveland, who's just bad all around on defense. Um, they didn't do enough. He didn't do enough. And then again, and Whiteside definitely made his value again. 6,000. This guy's a monster. 16 points and 6 rebounds. 36 is, is really good. But yeah, um, too bad he didn't have a couple blocks in there. But, because usually he gets like double digit, not double digit, well, um, Two, two or more blocks every game. So, it's on white side. But yeah, I scored 258 on that one. So that was a horrible night for me last night. So tonight, um, let me show you my picks. Um, I got a lineup I really like. Where is it? This one. No, is it that one? Which one? Which one was it? I think it was, I believe it was this one. Let me go through it. Um... So first of all, I got Westbrook versus New York. New York's just terrible. This could be a blowout, but I think Russell Westbrook. I don't. I think it'll be a little bit closer because Kevin Durant is out and Russell Westbrook. When Durant's out, is a must play. Um, if you remember beginning earlier in the year when Durant was out, Westbrook went for fifty every single night. And let's see what his last games were. Uh, Twenty-eight. That was a blowout. Fifty-three, forty-four, fifty-two. He's just a monster. Um, DJ Augustine versus Philly. Horrible. You know he's going to do good. He's going to be highly owned, but I think he's going to put up 40-something. Um, and that should get you over the top. Um, Eric Bledsoe, I love tonight. Uh, should be a fast-paced game versus Washington. Bradley Beal's not going to be able to defend him. Um, and he's a going for 40. Uh, I guarantee tonight. 30, 47, 57, 36. He, he's, he's also a monster. He does everything. Rebounds, assists, steals, points. He's an animal. Um, I like Kyle Korver tonight. He's only at 4,900. Every time I play Kyle Korver, he kills me. Um, but Brooklyn is bad against shooting guards, really bad. And the, the Hawks are just amazing. Um, 
but his last game is 21 points, 21, um, 8, 17, 25, 40, 12. He always goes, does good, and then has a bad game. Does good, and then has a bad game. So he should do good tonight, just based on what he's what he's been doing. Andrew Wiggins is going to blow out everybody today. I don't care. I think he's like one of the best picks tonight versus Boston, and plus Mo Williams is out. So you got to rely on Andrew Wiggins. Let's see what he's done. 33, 22, 16, 30, 18, 53. He's, he's decent. He's mid-range. He's going to get you about 30 points every game. Uh, Trevor Ariza. They're playing Dallas, who is third worst against small forwards, and he's he's consistent. Um, thirty six about thirty six minutes a game. He gets a lot of minutes, and he gives you everything everything in the stat sheet: points, rebounds, assists, steals, everything. So he's a great play tonight. Uh, Thaddeus, and I like him tonight versus Boston. Um, he, they're bad against big men, <clears throat> but he is taking advantage of that small forward spot. He can play power forward, and he's getting a ton of minutes. Uh, 37, 44, 20, 36. He's, he's doing very good. So, And he does fill the stat sheet as well. Uh, I like Brandon Bass tonight. Minnesota is bad against um, big men too. And Brandon Bass is getting a lot of minutes. He's taking advantage of it. He's 5,100. He was like, what, 4,500? They write, they raised his price just because of how he's been playing. And he's getting good good minutes. Um, Then it was either out of Alex Len or uh, Mozgov. I like Len a little bit more. I mean, I like Mozgov a little bit more, uh, just because he's playing Portland and Portland's centers are all banged up. But he's been getting a lot of minutes and doing pretty good um, with his minutes. Uh, 21, 14, 27, 35, 38. He's been doing pretty good. So I'm gonna roll with him tonight with 100 left over. Um, play a couple more lineups. But uh, that's I like that lineup tonight a lot. Uh, what else do I got here? I probably getting a little bit of uh, getting a little bit of uh, 50 50 games tonight too um, so I'm probably gonna do that in a minute um, is there anybody else I like Eric Gordon is low priced and he's just been doing very good uh, Denver should be a fast-paced game so he should he should do good tonight they don't really have a shooting guard right now a flalo but you know he's getting old uh, Anthony Davis versus Denver's uh, horrible horrible big Ben he should go off tonight um, I, li I like him a lot tonight Lance Thomas, this is this might be a good pick depending on the injuries, but I think he plays when Melo's in. Also, he gets a lot of minutes, so um, if it is a blowout, he's still gonna get a lot of minutes versus OKC. Um, McDaniel's, uh, he's been playing really well. Uh, Detroit isn't the greatest against small forwards, um, so McDaniel should be pretty good tonight. Gortat, Phoenix, bad against big men. I'm riding him. Um, I stacked Philly here. Drummond, I mean, I stacked Detroit here against Philly. Drummond, Monroe, Anthony Davis, and I try to, you know, fit Westbrook in there with Augustine. Then I get got some um, smaller guys in there versus, like, no no money. I mean, no money. Really cheap. Has a little bit of upside. Not not much. Murrow, he can get, he'll get you 40 once in a great while. He, he did it this year. But um, if this is a blowout, Murrow will get some playing time. And New York is bad on defense. Um, Jason Terry going against his, uh, his former team. Uh, maybe he gets some more playing time in there to get some revenge back on them. Hopefully he can give me a couple threes. Lance Thomas, like I said, makes uh, gets a lot of minutes. And Darrell Wright uh, against Cleveland, the worst team, one of the worst teams against small forwards. And Darrell Wright, last game he did score 21 uh, fantasy points, even with Aldridge back. So I'm hoping he can do that against Cleveland tonight. But um, let me let me go ahead and do a 50-50 real quick. Haven't done a 50-50 in a while because I've been losing at them. Um, they are, you do, you do, it is easier, I guess, to cash in these. Um, so, let me play a 5. You can do top 20 or top 40 winners. I guess I'll do a top, uh, top 80, top 40. So let me enter this. Alright, um, so. I need okay. Usually with fifty fifties, with fifty fifties, you want it to be more of safe plays with like high ceilings and low floors. I mean, well, high ceilings and high floors. You don't really need to get a um, sleeper or anything. You don't really need to get a um, like a um, you know a cheap guy that meets value. You want well, you obviously want them to all to be, meet value, but you don't need to get like a low guy that you need to go 
you know, get a higher floor. So you just want to go safe. You want to get safe picks all day. All right, so point guard. I'm going to go um, Kyrie Irving versus Portland. Uh, Portland, he's probably going to be low owned today. Uh, well, my, he might be high owned because last night he uh, gave you 55. But he's he has a relatively high floor and a high ceiling. So um, he's playing Portland, who's not too good against point guards. So I'm going to roll with him. And also, I'm going to roll with Augustine. He's going to be high owned tonight. I definitely know that. But uh, if he does go for 50, he's going to get me over the over the hump, and I could you know be on my way. Um, then for shooting guard. Um, I need another safe pick. So I'm going to go, um, I think Eric Gordon is a cheap, kind of cheap, mid-range safe pick for his Denver. Uh, his last games, let's check him out. 22, 19, 29, 39, 26. He gives you mid-20s, mid so at that price point, I can't beat it. I'm also going to go uh, Kyle Korver, only for 900, and he is definitely a safe play. Except for that last night with OKC. I mean, not last night, the other night. I don't know what happened there, uh, but he's relatively a safe play for most for the most part. Um, so yeah, small forward. I'm going um, Andrew Wiggins. I think he's a safe play tonight for some reason. I'm just rolling with him in a bunch of my games, especially with Mo Williams out. I'm rolling with him. Um, another another small forward. I'm gonna go is Chandler Parsons. Um, he's playing Houston. That's his old team. It'll be a revenge game. But um, it should be fast paced. It should be a shootout. Look at his last games. He's he's fairly fairly good. So I'm rolling with him. Um, and you gotta go Anthony Davis. He's gonna give you 50. Could get you 60. Could get you even 70. He did. Uh, I think it was early in the season. Or well, last year. I can't remember. But um, yeah, he, he's gonna get you good every time. And Denver even makes it better. Then for a power forward, my other power forward, I'm gonna go. I can't go too expensive, so I'll go Nene. I'm going to go Nene. Uh, last night he did bad, but today should be a little bit turned around because he's playing Phoenix, who's bad against big men, so I see him getting around 30. And then for center, I got 4,800 left over. So, um, Omar Sheik, no, definitely not hit going him. I don't trust him. Uh, Cole Aldrich, don't trust him. Look at this. Nope, don't trust him. Chris Kamen, I do definitely don't trust him. I think he's been hurt a little bit. But uh, Tyler Zeller, only 4,500. Um, Kelly Olenek is out. He's been putting up some good numbers. He gets more minutes with him out. Um, maybe can get, hopefully they can get a 29-minute 29, uh, 29 game instead of a 16, 19, 16. If he gets that, uh, that's a pretty good play. So I'm going with Zeller with 300 left over. Can't really do much. How about point guard? Can I upgrade the point guard? Tony Roten's hurt. No, I cannot. So, I feel like this is a great safe 50-50 uh, safe plays right here. Um, so, I'm going with that, entering that right now. But yeah, oh, table is full. Uh, i got to find a, another one. So yeah, while I'm doing that, um... So, post in the comments below what you think about my lineups. Um, let me know what lineups you're running with tonight if you're doing a 50-50 or a GPP. Um, if you want to critique me on anything, let me know. Uh, point, some, point something out. Tell me if I'm wrong, how you feel about it. I'm all open for you. I'm all open ears here. I'm trying to win some money. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to listen. So, if you think anything's wrong with this, let me know. Um, you might think Tyler Zeller's wrong. I don't know. But, um, good luck, guys. And hopefully you win tonight. Hopefully I win tonight. Um, so, good luck. Thanks for watching. Peace.